after 30 What's the verdict from the jury? I heard it from a birdie That the 30 word is dirty But I'm living my life Chip! And I wish you would live yours So I, I first um, encountered Samus when my older brother brought home the video game Metroid which is, is for the Nintendo um, this was the early 90s, and we played the game on Nintendo, and for those who are not familiar in the game, the main character, you can't tell what they look like, they're in an armor suit. And then at the end of the game, uh, when you beat the game, the armor suit comes off, and there's this reveal, and you see that Samus is this powerful woman. And it, it was such an important moment for me because it, it forced me to challenge my own gendered assumptions. I mean, it hadn't even occurred to me that this could be, that this character could be a woman. And so in that moment, it, it kind of opened up a new space for me um, in gaming, but also, I think more broadly, I began to realize these norms, these, these constructs are just that, constructs. <laughs> that they're not um, uh, imperatives from heaven or from the sky. They can be shifted and changed. And um, that was huge for me as a musician, realizing I can do things just because I haven't necessarily seen other women model that for me or because other folks you know, men are telling me I can't do this. I can do that. That's 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 kind of the the thing that I think Samus has given to me. I'm the fifth element mixed with May Jemison. All these fake feminists pierce the stage. Jealous man telling me it's suicide. Well, it's do or die. I be fighting like Budaka for you and I. I'm the fifth element mixed with May Jemison. All these fake feminists pierce the stage. Jealous man telling me it's suicide. Well, it's do or die. I be fighting. Like so I consider myself to be a black feminist. I, I definitely want to support spaces that are honoring the history of women who have fought so that I can exist, who have taken up space so that I can exist. So I think this is a really important space for someone who believes in what I do to showcase their art. Because regardless, I'm an artist. This art is my catharsis. Uh, I think what inspired me first and foremost is my mom. So she's a professor and she teaches in the Africana Studies Department at Cornell and uh, University. And she's invested in thinking about gender disparities and, and gender issues as it relates to education across the African continent. And she's always been someone for me who has modeled and kind of pushed for me to um, always um, get what I want. <laughs> to get what I want, to fight for what I want, to fight for what I believe in, even if it's difficult, even if it's, it's not um, pretty. Um, and I think that that's been a huge part of my, my self-development as a woman and being in certain activist spaces is realizing that, that I can have a voice through this. Yeah. I'm kind of scared of the academy. I think that my parents are proud of me. I just wish I knew how to be comfortable here. I never feel like I'm allowed to breathe. Rubbing shoulders with these old nerds, rocking sweater vests in the office hours, eating hors d'oeuvres while I soul search. Trying to make some sense of the ivory tower, feeling sober. Am I just a coward or a poser? I don't really doubt it or a soldier. Books and holsters, but the setting sucks. I can't write the power because they write books. Nobody reads for these white folks that they try to please. Recycle all the right quotes. Try to say blokes ain't my cup of tea. Every part of you is important. Every piece of your identity is important, deserves care, deserves nurturing. And you get to be a whole bunch of things. Nobody is allowed to whittle you down to one piece of that multitude of things that you are. Your complexity is a gift. As a little kid, wasn't really rap tight. Yeah, they always said I was trying to act white. Even though I'm black like night without a flashlight. Guess they'd rather have me dragging on the crack pipe. Don't enunciate, or you're an Oreo. Drink Cavassier, do a little choreo. Better not be corny, though. Better start the party like you Mario. You entertain me like the Mario show. Don't get me wrong, I swear I really love to dance. And when the freedom is art. <laughs> I think for me, that's, that's been what's, li that's what's liberated me, is finding art as a way to exist in the world, as a, as a like, not just a practice, but really like an ethos that I'm gonna approach my relationships and interactions in the same way that I would approach an artistic piece with the same patience, um, with the same curiosity. So yeah, I think freedom for me is art. I 
I felt like this was like church. I really did. The the I mean, not just the environment, um, but also the the way that as we progressed through our set, folks would stand up and would feel compelled and called to kind of action. Or the, it felt very much like there was a call and response, even in the energy in the space. So I feel really grateful to have been a part of something as special as this. This is my last show for the summer, and so I, I'm really happy that we get to close out the summer in this magical, thoughtful, political space. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.